Alright, this vlog is gonna be about women's issues. Not the political kind, the there are a couple extra things that I get to consider when I travel because I'm a woman kind. I'm gonna talk about my period. And it's gonna be hilarious. My trip to Newcastle and Edinburgh was a gong show. But none of that made it into the actual trip videos because you stopped watching the moment I said period, didn't you? Was it women's issues? If anyone's still watching, I promise the story doesn't involve me like describing a used tampon. <laughs> and a couple tampons because you never know. But still, pack and light, except my period was late this month. So I actually packed all of the pads I could find because not only do I have to cover the whole period, but I have to wear pads until the damn thing starts too. Waking up to discover that your period showed up full force in the middle of the night is an entirely different story when you're sleeping on someone else's sheets. It's fine, a little extra to pack, but whatever. Mostly I was annoyed because pads are kind of uncomfortable and I didn't want to have to wear them the whole trip. Side note, for those of you who don't know, a tampon's not an option in this situation because... <clears throat> you don't want to pull out a dry tampon. I said it on the internet. I said it on the internet. Fortunately, unfortunately, the pad uncomfortableness didn't really get a chance to register. Now normally, boobs hurt, period starts, constipation. Periods are great! But this time, boobs hurt, period should start, but doesn't. Boobs continue to hurt, constipation kicks in, acne so bad I want to tear my face off, and then period starts. Six days late. And for that whole time, just uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. I can tell you the exact moment it finally started though, because I fainted. <laughs> What? I was at the concert, because of course I was. It's a concert, so I'm hot and uncomfortable, and there's a pain in my shoulder from holding my bag too long, but the floor is covered in beer, so I can't put it down. But none of that matters, because Amanda Palmer is banging on a piano. And then, quite suddenly, I am much, much too warm, and it starts to go black, and I think of air cadets and being told that if my knees were locked while standing at attention, I'd faint. But I don't think my knees are locked, and then the ringing starts, and I manage to crouch before I fall, beer-covered floors be damned. Despite the fact that he was cleaning, and it was almost the end of his night, the bartender was very nice about getting me a water. And then another one. The way I was clutching the bar, he probably thought I was trashed. Or high as a kite. And that was the all-consuming subplot of my trip to Newcastle and Edinburgh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye! The rest of the period was smooth sailing. I mean, it was a period. Thank God I remembered my painkillers, but no more fainting! That was weird. If that happens again, I'll go to the doctor.